Drinking overnight. Huh? Who are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. So earlier today guys, I was looking to pick up Ruby Bobo because I need him for XP challenges, but I didn't want to open packs, so I had to go check how much he was going for in the auction house. Now little did I know that this guy is going for 20,000 MT right now. I get that it's Bobo, but that is still a Ruby card, so then I had to get into investigating. What makes this Bobo worth $20,000? We're about to find out. Yo, what's going on guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another video and that's right guys Today we're gonna be seeing what this super expensive Ruby Bobo is all about I understand that Bobo is a super hype player, but 20,000 MT for a Ruby is kind of ridiculous It kind of reminds me of when Lonzo Ball had his rookie card in 2k18 and his gold card was going for 40,000 MT is Bobo on that same hype or is this card just an actual demon? That is what we're gonna find out today as as always guys if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that sub button we're trying to hit 215k before 2021 can we make it happen that's up to you guys man but uh yeah ruby bobo last year we got an amethyst and galaxy opal version of you and it was absolutely disgusting we'll see if that card is just as cheesy this year flipping him over 88 offensive overall 84 defense seven foot two that's gonna be cheese 208 pounds the stats they're nothing crazy but I'm not expecting them to be crazy because again he is just a ruby card so 70 driving layup he's got a bit of post game though and he can actually shoot 82 mid range and 82 three honestly that's good enough for me to use uh 84 free throw 75 driving dunk no ball handling a little bit of defense there with that 86 block i'm not mad at that he can actually rebound he's not the fastest but he's actually not the slowest at seven foot two now he has zero strength so we're probably gonna get posted up to death but that's okay 58 lateral quickness is an absolute gong show hopefully we don't get attacked on the pick and roll and the mental game well um yeah jumping over to the badges he's got 10 gold badges in total that includes catch and shoot corner specialist those are actually big dubs uh brick wall drop stepper put back boss lob city finisher chase down artist box worm and set shooter so he does not have a rebound chaser that could be a big problem or maybe he's just so tall that it doesn't matter i mean hakeem he didn't have rebound chaser and he was grabbing boards but bobo's a ruby card either way i want to see what this card's all about ladies and gentlemen so without further ado let's jump into a game and let's see what bol bol is all about let's get into it all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another htb gameplay pink diamond dwight howard is our matchup that might end up being a little bit messy but uh it's time to see what Bol Bol is all about. Starting with a pick and fade because he has no offense to create for himself. Hit that screen, thank you. All the way through. Pick and pop green! Bol Bol! Do not tell me this guy is quitting because Bol hit one open shot. Do not do this. Oh my god! Our opponent has already left the match. He saw a ruby hit a three. He's like, nah, today's not my day. On to another game, man. All right, guys, part two. It looks like Porzingis is our matchup. Now, one thing I want to say was that Bobo still has Porzingis' jumper. So this will be interesting. Good defense there by Derrick Rose. Let's get it started. Oh, we got a snatch back. Durant's open in the corner. You got to feed the snipers, man. Come on, let's go. Good defense there by Derrick Rose. He's trying to curry slide his way into an open three. It's not working out for him right now, but guess what? It is now time for Mr. Bol Bol. So if we can get this man open, that'd be wonderful. Hit that screen. Thank you. Oh, we gone. Bol Bol wide open. Dimer me, mama. Bang. Let's go. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Bol Bol might be one of the best rubies in the game. Why are you leaving Derrick Rose wide open? What is with a double team? That made zero sense. Right back into the pick and fade with the greatest specimen my team has ever seen. Oh, he actually played that well. Let's see how fast Bol Bol feels on an ISO. I know he doesn't have the fastest speed ball. Look at that. Too fast. Bullen green. Yo, Bol Bol might be the best Ruby big in the game. Bait that. Good defense by Gervin. Let's run with it. Bol Bol in transition, putting it down. Bro, Bol Bol's putting on a show right now. It's honestly funny to me that Ruby Bowl is likely going to be better than Amit this Porzingis. Beautiful pick and roll. He thought it was going to be a fade. Not today. You got to switch it up. Keep the guys thinking. 
If Bull just gets open, this is going to be a bucket. He wants to post up. Uh, we're not going to let you post up, but Kevin Durant in the post. You guys know I love his fadeaway because guess what? It's always not green, but it is a bucket. All right, guys, we're in the second quarter, and the beast that is Bull Bull so far has been dominating. The pick and roll, the pick and fade, they just don't know what poison to choose. Wide open, green. Him having catch and shoot as a badge is so overpowered. Like, we haven't even really tried that corner specialist yet. This card has a high ceiling for a ruby card. I might need to somehow get him on the no money spent, even though he's expensive. What I don't like about the game is when frames are randomly skipping. But uh, right now, Bull is a pick and roll god. Look at that. Oh, I tried to pump fake that. I did. Go! Oh my goodness, I didn't know what to do there. I kind of panicked, I'm not going to lie. Easy bucket though. Give me that! Bull Bull! They call me Bull Bull, Euro step! Oh, get off me! Oh, if that went down though, imagine. Go get open, catch and shoot. That's a bucket. Let's go. I'm not going to lie. You guys are probably going to get sick at how much I'm going to say Bull Bull. Oh, he missed that. Get that rebound, come on. Let's keep running with it. You know what? Let Bull take it up the court. He is the one running the pick and rolls now in these streets. Come here, Wayne. Give me a screen. Look at how fast he looks. He's moving like the flash all the way through. Where's the defense? Aside from this bull having ball control and a driving dunk, he's pretty much the same as last year. You can say, oh, who's open? George Gervin, the sniper. I love his jumper. On a catch and shoot, it is so silky. Nice rebound there. Only the second rebound of the night for bull, but honestly, it's not like we're struggling. Look at that crossover. Oh, he lost ball control. All right, it's only a four-point game. We got to step up. The pick and roll. Oh, he's sending help. Don't leave. Gervin is a sniper. Do not disrespect the Iceman. I wonder if Demigod Bull here can catch alley-oops. Let's try it. Yes, he can. Who needs Love City finisher? How did he not bring the rim down? This man is a god. Get the rebound there, Bull. He's got three rebounds tonight. All right, we're doing our thing. I definitely got to get my bench in here. Oh, wait. Three seconds to go. Derrick Rose, this is your moment for sure. Moving shots are your thing. Oh. We're in the second half here. Now, the biggest reason I was excited to use this bowl card, I'm not going to lie, is because he doesn't have an actual card on the Denver Nuggets. Like, in the 20 current NBA, Bowl Bowl doesn't have, like, a silver card or anything. But uh, his ruby right now is tearing up. Good defense, George Gervin. Bowl is on the boards, and we are running. Wayne Embry. Oh, right back to Bowl. Catch and shoot. It's only a midi, but it's a bucket. That gold catch and shoot is something else. You don't even need hot zones. Pump fake. Bowl under the basket. Let's try the post hook. They're all too small. Give me... Yo, he cannot post hook, though. Yo, those are broken in next gen. Come on, now. We've got the bench in here now with Bull. Everybody's getting a rebound, so I can't complain. As long as when Bull has to get one, he gets one, we're good. Nice little pick and roll here. Finesse it with Curry. There we go. Got him. Let me go into a moving shot. Why not Steph Green? Bro, I love Steph Curry. Hit that screen. Thank you. Cross it up. Bye-bye. J.R. Smith. Not a green, but it's a bucket. The Henny God is still one of the best shooting guards in this game. That Hall of Fame deep threes is different. Don't pass that. I'm LeBron James. I see that. Look, he caught that like it was a football. That's crazy. All right, give me the pick and fade. LeBron, one of the greatest passers of all time. Hit that screen. Thank you. I'm a monster. I'm going to just... Wow. Okay, time to log off. Wow. I had to call a couple timeouts for Bull because all gods need their rest as well. Oh, look at that pick and fade. That was saucy. Corner specialist. Green. This dude is a perfect pick and pop card. I'm not going to lie. If we can snipe him on the no money spent, this card is a cop. Lori Markkinen might have to go. My name is Bol Bol and I'm going coast to coast. Get them all off me. Oh, LeBron's in the corner. Thank you. Dimer me, mama. Bang. All right, guys. We are officially in the fourth quarter. Bol Bol has put on quite the performance for the boys. Grant Hill. Oh, I want to catch a body so bad. Swing. Swing. Oh, I was a three. Bol. Get in there. Get in there. I know you don't have a post hook, but you might have a fadeaway that was super contested and it goes down. Come on, let's get a nice bucket after something like that. Steph Curry type. Look at this. Step back. Nobody's going to see that. Green. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo, don't let me get hot with Steph Curry. Do not let me get hot with Steph Curry, man. Let's keep it going here, man. Grant Hill in transition. Hey, we haven't really caught any bodies this game. That's because Bull can't really dunk, but we're hooping. I'm going to try to throw him another lob. If he's rolling, oh, I got you. That's easy. Easy. He doesn't even have to jump, but he does. Thank you. That was the easiest steal of all time. He was literally running up the court and stole the ball. Finesse. Thank you. Catch. Dimer me. Oh, that's not a green. Nope. I can't green now. I think he's exhausted. Doesn't matter, though. He's got 32 points and 11 rebounds. Coast to coast. The behind the back. It looks saucy. Oh, my God. He did not just go coast to coast with the rebound, bro. Let's keep it going here, man. Where's my boy Bull? Running down the court. Porzingis isn't even catching up to him. 
you think Porzingis would be a little bit faster, especially because he's an Amethyst card. And I think Porzingis is actually taller. All right, so we're going to go ahead and win the game 65 to 43. Ruby Bull. That's right. Ruby Bull had a very dominant performance. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score. And let's see how our boy did. All right, so as you guys can see, man, Bull Bull in 20 minutes had 36 points, 11 rebound, one assist, three steals, and a block. 16 for 26 from the field, man. This dude was doing his thing. Now, I'm really surprised at how many shots this Bull was actually hitting. Now, we only hit like, what, four threes that game, but he was hooping when you compare him to the pink diamonds that were on our squad. I know that the guy we played, we definitely had the better team, but you should not get lit up by a Ruby card like that. And Bull is a Ruby card honestly he was a ton of fun he's super tall so he can still protect the paint without rebound chaser he is still snagging rebounds i would still recommend buying one or even giving him rebound chaser if that badge isn't expensive but uh that would definitely make this card more elite you don't need deep threes in bowl because you shouldn't really be pulling with a ruby card like that him having catch and shoot and corner specialist is enough the only other badges i'd maybe give him is hot zone hunter but he doesn't have hot zones like that so i wouldn't even do that i'd probably give him rebound chaser pogo stick and intimidator i don't know how many badges he can hold but if he can hold three which i think is the limit for rubies then those are the three i would give him intimate intimidator would help him so much under the basket with people going for layups and dunks that would definitely be a big dub but uh yeah man all around bobo is actually a really good ruby card i don't think he's worth 20k mt because again lori marketing is a lot cheaper and he can do similar things but if you get your hands on bobo hey man he is a fun card you're gonna enjoy using him because again it's just bobo man but uh with that being said guys this is gonna be the end of the video if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care